earlier this year, we built a birdhouse and camera so we might watch baby birds, being born and raised. We were lucky enough, to get a new family of house wrens, to choose our birdhouse. This is a description of how we built our project, and some of the footage that we collected. The ESP32 cam has a built-in camera, a small LED light, and Wi-Fi. We used a little piece of double-sided tape that fixed the camera in place, and attached the module to the ceiling of the birdhouse with four brass standoffs. The birdhouse itself is a little oddly shaped. We needed the camera to be far enough from the nest and birds, to be able to focus properly. And to have a good view of the inside of the nest, without being directly overhead. We also wanted to build the house using a single plank of 1 by 8 inch cedar. This is a view of the inside of the birdhouse, on the day that we mounted it. As you can see by the small bit of fluff near the entrance, we had immediately got some attention from a male house wren. After doing some experiments with the camera, we discovered that to capture the minimum resolution, and picture quality, that we felt we required, meant that we could only get about 3 frames a second. Here we are playing the video at 25 frames a second, which has the effect of speeding the video up by a little over 8 times. The ESP32 cam has a built-in LED light, although we were unsure as to how much light we could use, without disturbing the birds. We opted to keep the lighting to a minimum. Although, after some experimentation, we found that using a bit more light, did not seem to bother the parents or babies. On day 20, a female house wren moved into the nest, and began preparing it for their brood. Also at about the same time, something unfortunate happened. The piece of double-sided tape that we were using to hold the camera in place peeled away, causing the camera to angle to the right. We decided, that we did not want to take the chance of disturbing the new family, and that we could still see enough of the nest to continue our observations. On day 34, the female wren laid eight eggs. The father often comes to the opening, and passes food to the mother. It's difficult to see him, as he no longer comes inside. On day 48, it finally happens. The eggs begin to hatch. With the father's help, the mother bird begins feeding her chicks, and takes each piece of eggshell from the nest, taking it a distance away from the birdhouse. By the end of the day, all of the eggs have hatched. The chicks are noticeably larger, only a couple of days after hatching. The mother works frantically, all day long, to keep them fed. Sixteen days after the chicks hatched from their eggs, they begin to move around more, and venture towards the opening. The mother bird is working even harder, to keep her chicks fed. Finally, on the 18th day after the chicks hatch, they begin fluttering around the birdhouse, and then flying out of the opening. 
the mother bird stops feeding the chicks, and before the end of the day, the remaining chicks leave the nest. We hope you enjoyed our video, and are inspired to create a project of your own. Check the video description for more details, of how we built this birdhouse. Feel free to leave comments as well. And, if you decide to build a similar project of your own, let us know.